hello everybody so today i'm gonna show you how to install a acunatix so let's get to it so let's go inside this folder let's clear it out then use sudo c c at more mode let's make the all file executable and let's do it dummy and do ls and here is my script for that so you can just do sudo then run this acunetics and let's hit enter then it has 35 uh, statement for the agreement agreement license so I went through that before and from there and let's do yes so it's asking us our host name so let me write my local host name one two seven zero dot zero dot one let's hit enter and let's use test me at the rate gmail.com so you can write whatever you want right and let's put the password one two three four five six seven eight and s so previously i tried installing that and i kept a random password i thought i paste it somewhere on my a uh, notebook so i haven't done that so it was just i feel like i was just hallucinating at that point and i tried to reinstall it so it's installing and this might take a few minutes and let's wait for it and i was talking earlier like i forgot about that right password and when i try to reinstall it i have to delete a certain path so i need to delete this fi file in order to uh, reinstall that because if if we don't delete this file uh, then our credential this email and password is saved over there and we won't be able to do so so it will it will install it right but it won't ask us for this to create new uh, username and password let's wait guys I think this might take a uh, five minutes at max because it has to download all the files and at the initial step it's just downloading the database only now populating and adding new vulnerability so in this process after this in this process it's gonna take a while so let's wait for it so guys it has finally completed its installation so it's asking us to go at this and let's copy this URL and let's open the browser and let's just wait okay and this might take a few seconds now we got our browser let's paste the URL and let's go to advance accept ricks and continue and we had the test test me at the rate gmail.com and let's use our password and let's log in okay it's asking us for license right so it's administrator so let let us go back log out and let's what we can do is 
let's get our how to install right so here we need to copy this sudo cpwfc file into this directory and let's do enter and let's do the license info okay i need your cp then uh what is my license license info and here is my directory let's copy this and let's paste it over here then we are done so let's try to open it again with this url let's copy this let's copy that and let's open firefox then let's paste it over here so here is my local local address so let's accept it then let's try it test me at the way gmail.com let's put our password and now we are administrator and that's fine so this is the U, ui for that so i just want to make it something clear so what you normally do is suppose now this session is done right so if if you try to do like this the the connection was reset so basically what you want to do is in order to get access like this so you need to have a https at the first then yeah here is both result so at first i was also confused on this matter right so it's the same url but it won't redirect it won't get redirected to this as a cps so you might guess this kind of error so it's and next is so suppose so this acunetics is similar like apache service so if we do sudo service uh, and acunetics acunetics then let's do status or let's do stop right let's stop it and let's check its status after that sudo service service acunetics then let's start status so now it's not running so it won't run so unable to connect this so what you should remember is the port number is 3443 that would be the port number when you start the uh start the acunetic service so you need to remember this url so that's why i made this video for that also i might remember i might not remember so let's do service then acunetics then start let's start it okay now let's check its status so normally it's running on port 35 thousand four hundred thirty two so that's the port number it's running on so if we try to reload it again now it's working normally you don't it's redirected to local host so let me just log in so okay that's not it this me as the way gmail.com then let's put our password so it will automatically okay log out from other devices then we are logging at administrator so here you need to add a target right here so 
right here password so normally this is my own network so dummy network network so let's save it and you need to you can go over here right scan tab and you can do new scan and from there dummy network this is our network and let's do scan full scan non scan and quick developer quick scan and okay create a scan so this is how you see so this is my own local ip address i mean this ip address of mm, here i guess so i don't have another vm running on hopefully if someone needs a help on how to use that then i might i might uh make a video out of it right so thank you guys